Acedonia did a 50 year and today we're going to do a review of the entire Shrunken Head toy line from the Mighty Max series. So first we've got a mummy. That's it. And he's not a very happy looking guy is he? So what the what am I in that series? What do they do? Probably, probably, no, yeah, they open it up and it's got a little figure inside it. Like a little mini play set. Now, unfortunately, don't have, this isn't the original figure other than that. There's the original figure these actually came with. So I lost this one, so I'm going to show pic. Well, I don't know if I've lost it, it might still be half some of it. I'll find a picture of this one so you can find the proper one of it. In. Proper one of it. Online, so. See, and you got a little base, and you can stand the guy in. And I've got a little hole, you can see, and you can stand the guy in there. And go like that. Thank you. Make it look like he has a fight, a fight with the mummy. So, yep, that's the first one. Now, I'm not going to show the names of these because we have multiple names in different European languages, so I'll put the names of them in the description in the order to show them. This is a like a melty face zombie guy. You open this one up and what's inside it? It's like a like a metallic base and it looks like there's a zombie and there's your max figure for this one, it's got like a a drill or some kind of gun and a backpack. And all the figures in these fit nicely inside them so you can keep them contained. This one's called a rock monster, well, I think, I don't know. So, open him up. And there's Max with a torch. You can see with some like painted lava and some bones and there's a rock guy. Next one we've got a skull. Snake. And this one's a big snake. As you can see Max is there and got a rope and a torch. You notice with these all the figures have all the all the fig these maxes are exclusive to these sets as well. You didn't get these max figures in these pauses in the other figure sets either. And you'll see another you'll notice with them is They all look the same colour feet as they have the base of the plat the base of the set. So I like that I like that guy a lot. I'm a brain guy. And he's got some pliers, so he's standing up and up there and then there you go look. It's focus, I'm cute. And these are worth flu and they recently came out about two or three pound each. This, 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 these Smunkered headsets specifically came out in, I think, in 1993. So this is a fly. This is the next that actually had a bigger fly one, but it was a different fly character. I like this one, but I like flies, so it's no really surprise there. Is that a little spray can and backpack? And there you can see inside the thing, it's got like a, there's a big fly guy. That round. Right. Got a vampire. And it's just, just <laughs> the camera picks it up as a fear. Right, so what we got? So you've got like bones. And Max has got a, a bloody stake in this one. There's the vampire saying go and stab him right in the chest. Right, that's that one done. Right. The last one from series one is a rat. Maybe he is a not very happy looking rat too. And open it up and 
there's a rat in the top corner. You can see there's a bottom there. You get some bones and a little sand. There you go. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm going to take you. Yeah. Like that. Right, now onto the Series 2 ones. Now these ones are considerably rarer than the Series 1 ones because they didn't seem to make, well they made the same map but it seems to be easiest to find. So this is the first, this is Lava Lord. This one I definitely know the name of. It's the main character in the show. So, this one's a different shape and you've got this like, weird looking thing in there. There's Lava Lord there in the bottom just popping out. And, and all that is carrying is a, is a, an ham, is a, um, axe is carrying, Max is carrying his axe. I see not much use really, that does it. <laughs> it's not an axe, is it? Not an axe. I don't know. And this one I think we called Dr. Zygo. This guy was in the previous series, but it was a dinosaur guy. In the show, I just turned him into this floating big brain guy. That's why not. So, maybe that's some like, weird lightning bolt platform. Maybe there's some acid or something, or, I don't know. There's the figure himself. He's just sitting there in the top. Oops, I've done that one wrong. There he is. And this one was called the Conqueror. This is a was, this was actually another one that existed as its own figure in the Battle Max line, which are like action figures that could like turn into bases. And so in this one, is that, I don't know, is that some like weird like bloody weapon or something? And weird looking things on the ground. And there's the Conqueror himself. I put this one in wrong. Right, this is the gargoyle. That one's up then. It's another map with like a stake. It's like a wooden stone, brick, an iron or metal one. There he goes up there. And there's the gargoyle itself. It is at the bottom, this one. It had to be different than the other ones. <laughs> this is a. I think that was a gargoyle or a dragon. Maybe this one was a gargoyle. I'm not sure. Right. They both look like gargoyles, don't they? So. Yeah. Right, so. This one's a bit weird shape, as you can see, it's like, there's the bottom part of it. Yeah, I have some fact of the gargoyle, this one might be a dragon. And this one comes with like a rusty like sword. I don't really see that much use when you think about it, but, yeah. Right. This one was the Hydra. Well, it doesn't really look like hide, but I'm fishing sure that's what it's supposed to be. Right, uh, just need to pick that up as a face, I don't know why, but... As you can see... Snakes, and for some bizarre reason, he comes with boxing gloves. So he can punch his teeth in. And yeah, it's kind of weird, that one. <laughs> for this storyline. And there's a the snake itself, which doesn't look very menacing, does it? <laughs> It's a bit more menacing on the. Of course, you could just have the figure fight the giant head. They didn't come with the stories, these little ones, so. Like the bigger ones, so you could make it up as a grand. And this is obviously the most well known character in the series. This is a Skullmaster, it's like the big villain of the series, who was voiced by Tim Curry in the show. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, the Skullmaster. And. Uh, no one like with a knife. They were like knife leaves, didn't they? I a saw, I don't know. Some skulls. And you can see there he's not yeah, he's a bit of a weird colour in this one. He's got a red cape, but he's usually not got a red cape, but he is in this one, so there he is, it's a skull mask, so it just looks like he does in the rest of the figures, so not not really the most 
unique I want. Oh, it got, did a close up. Not really the most unique figure in the line, this one. Right, and the last one, and this one, this one's called Doom, I think. I think this I was planning to actually get an actual figure, actual bigger playset, but it never got released, so this is the only one we've got. Oh, you flip this up. And inside you've got that like, like swamp thing. You've got the oddest accessories for these ones. It's like a, a voodoo doll and a, a stick or a stick. I'm not sure what it is. And there's Nemi himself. There's Doom himself. It's like the Emperor, don't they? Hmm. Yeah. I'll put, I'll put them back in there. Yep. And that's the entire 16 set series of the Mighty Max Shrunken Heads. I think the series 2 ones, the bottom row ones, are actually kind of difficult to get hold of. Now, well, probably the originals are, well, these are 20 year old. Well, anyway, thank you for, for watching.